What's good folks, it's Nightmare Frame here with a new Warframe video talking about the recent addition to Melees. Not the arcades, but Tenokai. There's quite a few people who still don't understand the concept of Tenokai, even though it's very simple. If you want to know a lot more about melees, I did do an in-depth melee guide. Please do go check that out. It talks about everything you need to know about melee prior to Tenokai and melee arcanes. So in this video, I will cover, of course, Tenokai just to have something complete when it comes to melee. With the introduction of Tenokai, it was a very welcome feature. However, there is still a lot of bad when it comes to Tenokai than there is good. But first, let me explain how to actually trigger Tenokai and what it actually does. When Tenokai was released, we got a new mod slot for melees, an Exilus slot. When you look at this, it almost looks like a Warframe mod loadout. Now, all you have to do is equip a Tenokai mod. What is a Tenokai mod? It just needs to have Tenokai within its description. As you can see, enables Tenokai, enables Tenokai. When you equip a Tenokai mod, now your melee has a chance of triggering Tenokai. Without this, it's just going to be a normal melee swing. So what happens when you equip the Tenokai mod? You will now get a 15% chance to trigger a new effect on your melee. So as I'm attacking, that is Tenokai. When that pops up, you have two seconds to perform a heavy attack. And this heavy attack benefits from all heavy attack multipliers, meaning combo counter, any other effects, and even the weapon's heavy attack multiplier and heavy attack procs when it heavy attacks. On top of that, your windup speed is greatly increased. Usually, if you heavy attack with this, you can see you have a very wide and slow swing. But when you trigger Tenokai, it's almost instantaneous. Now, earlier, I said it has a chance to trigger on melee hits. This is a probability to trigger on your melee inputs. Because there are those who are thinking, maybe if I use a stance that has a multi-hit combo, this may guarantee my chances on getting a Tenokai proc. Unfortunately, that's not the case. It's every melee input. And at the same time, for those thinking, maybe if I group them up, Hitting multiple targets with one swing will also guarantee a Tenokai proc. Unfortunately, that's not the case. It's just a lucky hit. So if I get Tenokai right now, it's because of luck. Not because I hit multiple targets. We can try that again. As you can see right now. I swung for quite a lot and still didn't even trigger Tenokai. Of course, until the end. But there is one thing that really, really benefits Tenokai, and that is attack speed, because this is on every swing. So increasing the amount of times that you can swing within a short period greatly increases the chances of Tenokai. It's as if attack speed has a tactical advantage, even though it doesn't let animations shine. For those who got that, it was a little throwback to something else. Okay, now with Hero, I can use my second ability to get some attack speed. And of course, I do have Arcane Strike. Let's see how fast we can get Tenokai with a couple of swings. There we go. Hit pretty fast and get Tenokai. Yeah, so dump a lot of attack speed and just go to town swinging if you really want to benefit from Tenokai. All right, now that you got an idea of how that works, let's take a look at the pros and cons of Tenokai. Starting off with the pros, of course. Number one, it allows you to perform heavy attacks with no downside to wind up speed and it doesn't consume combo. And the best part is it's really good at activating your melee incarnate mode. The cons, 15% chance to trigger, doesn't work with multi-hit combos and it can be buggy sometimes. What do I mean? by this you can have the icon pop up activate immediately but you will still do a regular heavy attack because sometimes it doesn't register very fast inputs so being a gamer also hurts you And of course, there is the auto melee bug, which still persists till this day. And I hope DE fixes auto melee or gives us a toggle to remove that horrendous feature. So what is this auto melee bug? Sometimes when you perform a heavy attack, you will continue auto meleeing 
from a heavy attack, which has nothing to do with light attacks. You notice this quite a lot when you're playing with Kulervo and using Wrathful Advance. And then there's, of course, UI bugs. Sometimes your Tenokai can bug out, and when it triggers, it lasts a bit longer than usual, even though you're not using Opportunity's Reach. For those who didn't understand that, it's, I will explain. There's a Tenokai mod called Opportunity's Reach, which increases your Tenokai window to four seconds and also increases the range. However, I wasn't even using that mod and it activates leaving the Tenokai icon for a bit longer than usual. Sometimes do not get fooled by that because when you activate it with that icon on your screen, you're still going to get a regular heavy attack. And of course, the final con is that not all Tenokai mods are good. And that's a good segue into taking a look at Tenokai mods. From all the testing that I've done, there's literally only two good Tenokai mods that you ever want to use. Number one, Dreamer's Wrath. This increases the Tenokai opportunity by 50% and gives you a heavy attack critical damage increase. Now, this is not a flat 50% increase, but a 1.5 times multiplier to the 15%. What does that mean? So you take that 50%, which is a 0.5 plus one, turn it into a multiplier multiplier. Multiply it by the 15% and you get a 22.5% chance increase. So this is what actually happens. So even though it says 50%, it's just a 22% chance increase. But still, it's a very good mod because it increases the chances of you getting Tenokai. And that 32% is additive to your modded crit damage. Also, don't mind this build, it's just some weird funnies. And finally, Opportunities Reach, which increases that Tenokai window to 4 seconds and increases your Tenokai. Tenokai heavy attack range by three meters. This is only with Tenokai heavy attacks, nothing else. And for those wondering, what about Master's Edge? This unfortunately is literally a steel charge that only works on Tenokai. Absolutely useless. This gives you 100% status chance on Tenokai attacks. Most of the things that you would be using Tenokai with are weapons that force proc slash. And if, if they did enforce proc slash, you still have things like weeping wounds. And for those thinking, what about gas loadouts? By the time you proc a gas status effect, you're going to kill the enemies before this is even useful. Tenokai didn't even activate there, and they're already dead which is unfortunate. So yeah, the status chance increase with Tenokai, and you will barely even experience this mod working. On top of that, all of these increases are additive to your modded value. With a loadout like this, you're better off using increase in your range or Dreamer's Wrath. And this brings us to another issue with Tenokai. It really, really sucks if enemies are weak. So let me explain. It is horrible to use in Star Chart. You don't even notice it in Star Chart. Of course, and in Star Chart, just use whatever you want. You will nuke everything. It is horrible when you do too much damage with your melee because you're gonna kill enemies and not even get to use your Tenokai, suffering from success. And Tenokai is very RNG. And some of you might be thinking, hey, what if I use Discipline's Merit? This removes the probability and just triggers Tenokai after every four hits. Sure, but if your first couple of hits are very strong, the enemies are dead, regardless. So any weapons that don't need bonus crit damage or bonus range, you could use this. Well, we take a look at that mod, as I said, doesn't count from multi-hit combos. And I'm using Swirling Tiger here, which is a multi-hit combo. That was one hit, still didn't get Tenokai. Second hit. Third hit. Or, you see what I'm saying? They died before I even got Tenokai. So, this is the issue with Tenokai. It's a nice thing, but it's horrible to use in lower levels. The time you'll even notice Tenokai being more useful than it already is if it's in a very high, dense environment. Meaning, you have enemies spawning left and right, so after you trigger Tenokai, you can just turn around and use it. So, Tenokai benefits really bad modding and high-level enemy units with really good modding. Alright folks, this is me covering the new Tenokai mods. Not all the Tenokai mods are good and Tenokai itself suffers from a lot of issues where, where it's just not good against low-level enemies or if you're just doing too much damage. Anyway, folks, that has been it for me. I do hope you enjoyed this video, and if you did, please feel free to leave a like, share, and subscribe for more Warframe content streams and so much more. Do refer to the description. Thanks for watching, and as always, a peace. Bye-bye now.